Hello everyone, welcome to the another video where we are going to connect Terraform with GCP. Well, basically there are multiple ways to authenticate Terraform with GCP. First and foremost is the username and password where we are going to run gcloud auth application default login. And the second way is using the Google Cloud VM. And the last way is using the service account keys which is preferred in production so in this video we are going to go through the, the all three methods but the first we will see the username and password and in the next video we are going to go through the google cloud vm so let's go to the official documentation and check about the uh, this first method so when you go to Terraform registry to Google provider guides and Google provider configuration reference there is some information about the first method uh, like you, there is some info about authentication and here you can read more about it uh, you can see that if you are using Terraform on your workstation recommend that you install gcloud and authenticate using user publication default credentials as a primary authentication method and you can enable ADC by running the command gcloud of application default login so this is a way that we are going to go through now so uh, if you want you can read more about it here uh, in terraform.register.io let's go to visual studio code and start uh, our project so we have a provider google and we have done with a provider version so let's start uh, using the project attribute here project project and we need to take the project id from the google account so go to google account and take the project from here like my first project in my case i will copy my id and here simply i will come and paste it here so there should not be any free space here and Another thing we need to provide is region and the region would be US Central 1 and we can also take the we can also provide the zone zone it will be US Central 1 A and now we have to provide uh, the another resource block that to, in order to make sure that we are connected with GCP so I will use the simply Google storage bucket so that we'll see so Google storage bucket don't worry we are not gonna deep dive the Google storage bucket in this video in the next videos we will go and more details about Google storage bucket so this is only for authentication so uh, we am uh, let's say uh, bucket from username and password name and password password and another thing that I have to mention is that your bucket name should be globally unique so if you give like the, the same name as mine you will have some issues because you need to change the unique name so here you need to choose a name bucket bucket from bucket from username and password so we are done this is really simple only the we are using the resource google storage bucket and we are giving the name here resource name and here we are giving the name that will appear in google storage bucket so basically we'll go to the terminal here and we'll just uh, go to the directory first and we are in getting started we are in getting started we are in the right folder so we'll do terraform init and it's saying that we the, the required version 3 is not uh, available so let's do 1 instead of 3 and let's do init yeah we'll so first we will do uh, the, the command gcloud auth application default application default login 
will enter and we need to wait a little bit and it's giving me this kind of uh, the link so I'm gonna simply copy here and I, op I will open it in another page here I will copy and open it and I will use my my Gmail and I will say just allow and basically we are done it's saying you are now authenticated with the gcloud cli so i can come back to visual studio code and start running terraform terraform plan terraform plan and it's saying that the, the main line of line 18 on the Google storage packet bucket from username password the argument location is required so we need to provide the location which is required here so let's say location us central one all right so don't don't forget to provide the location because it's seeing the one of the important here the required so let's do terraform plan again and let's do terraform apply and let's see it I'll say there yes now it's creating google storage packet and let's go to apply is complete resource one added and zero change it zero destroyed let's go to google account here and let's go to the navigation menu cloud storage and buckets and hopefully we'll see our bucket and as you can see bucket from username and password is available we created it using a terraform and we use it the first method uh, which is uh, multiple ways to authenticate to gcp the username and password we use it the command gcloud of application default login in the next video we are going to deep dive into the second method which is google cloud vm so thank you very much and see you in the next video